what's your name and what do you do? Wolfgang, I'm retired. Perfect, okay, so as a retired person, <laughs> Do you think that you have a lot more time in your hands to, oh, look at this. And <laughs> do you have a lot more time in your hands to be able to dedicate to causes such as this? I do. Um, I was here last year, and that was my, my first event, um, and wanted to, to come back and do it again. I really feel strong about this. Oh, good. So since that was your first event last year, do you feel that uh, you're going to be at future events? Absolutely. Yes. And is it just in support of women's rights or pretty much just everybody's rights in order to go topless? Well, again, it's, um, I mean, this is, this is about women's rights, but it is about um, you know, equality. And basically, um, man, woman, it doesn't matter. Uh, transgender, it shouldn't make a difference onto there. Everyone should be treated the same way, and that's why I'm here. Exactly, because I mean, a nipple is a nipple. And it's funny how people blur out or have rules against, such as uh, Instagram, face Facebook, <laughs> that if you wind up showing your nipples, at least uh, depending on the body that you're in, they will blur them out. Um, do you feel that this cause eventually will be able to kick into action to where equality is equal for everybody? I, I really do hope so. Um, I have uh, many friends that are transgender, and um, as being born a female, when they got the operation, the next day they could be topless. The day before, they couldn't. So it was, I mean, again, it's ludicrous what, you know, the, the way that um, they define things. Agreed. And lastly, do you feel that, considering how the Trump administration has been going already in the last seven months, that this equality will kick in within the next three and a half years? I hope so. Um, I, I really do. I know this is the 10-year anniversary, and there are states or cities that, that do um, do have, have the laws um, where all genders are able to, to be topless, and I really hope that Arizona and other states and cities do follow. Perfect. Thank you, Wolfgang. All right. What is your name and what do you do? My name is Sean Avon and I'm a minister. Oh, that's really interesting. Okay. So as a minister, what do you think about going topless for all people? Is it an equality thing? Is it a biblical thing? It's totally fucking biblical. Hello. I mean, like God wants all of us to like want each other to know as how we really are. And this is how we really are. And it's like, Everything else is just a creation by, like, the market media, blah, blah, blah. I can't even uh, refute that because it is. Uh, so were you here last year, or have you been to any other Go Topless events? No, this is actually the first time I've been here at a Go Topless, blah, blah. I've, uh, I lived not close of ours, so I, uh, I like, took a Coke, uh, like, a, like a, like a Coke, Coke, c Cloak, Cloak car one of those like you know like um you know those hire a car blah blahs anyway yeah 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 so i took warcraft today but here's the deal god loves us and we need to know that perfect and do you think this will be your last go topless or do you think you're going to do a lot more of these i'm totally not my laughless <laughs> laugh laughless it, did you say last or a laugh? I don't know. In my laugh, because like, no, I will totally be laughing all the way through. Hello, baby. Okay, and last question. With Trump going wild with everybody and obviously tearing everybody's rights apart, do you think that this topless event will go anywhere within his administration to, I guess, in the sense of equality? I know, right? I would totally fucking hope so. It's like, I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. But do I hope so? Yes. I hope so. Totally yes. Because he's like totally a man without morals. He's a totally man without direction. And it's like if he's going to like accept any direction from anybody, he should accept it from us. Hello. Absolutely. All right. Thank you for your time. Hi. <laughs> right, what's your name and what do you do? I'm Stephanie and I'm a paralegal. Ah, even great. So we're talking about, all right, let's get into the legalities of things. All right, do you think that women will have the equal rights under Trump and administration to be able to go topless just like men do? No, I don't think, <laughs> honestly, with the way it's going now, I don't think it'll happen under Trump. Um, it may eventually get there that it becomes something that everyone gets to have. I mean, slowly, you know, more and more jurisdictions are making it legal. Um, but I don't see it happening anytime real soon. And is this your first go topless event? It is. Oh, and how are you feeling? Do you feel nervous a little bit uh, being exposed, or do you, do you find that uh, this is actually kind of freeing? Um, the exposure I'm not really nervous about. I'm a little bit concerned about what um, 
resistance we may meet as we travel if we do you know leave here and head somewhere place else um, but I I don't feel exposed at all really so. yeah it kind of feels that good right I mean have you ever been on a nude beach uh, not a nude beach but I've been at other events where I've been nude or been topless so this is this is not really new it's just more public <laughs> exactly yes yeah <laughs> all these events must be kind of crazy all right uh, so um, do you feel that you uh, are being joined by a good crowd here of uh, nice supporters who will be able to protect and take care of you I think so yeah I think they'll uh, between who I've come with and who else is here I think uh, I've got uh, some protection if something comes up and lastly, do you think this will be your last Go Topless event? Oh, no. Yeah, this will definitely not be my last. All right, perfect. Thank you. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Zod. And I'm Drea. And we want you to check out the Zod and Drea podcast every Tuesday. Where can everybody find us at? Hmm. You can always check us out on www.zodandrea.com. Where else? You can always check us out also on Facebook at Zod Andrea. Instagram? Zod Andrea. Snapchat? Zod and Drea. You too. Zod and Drea. I see a pattern. I see a pattern. <laughs> so if you haven't caught that, catch us at Zod and Drea on all the social networks. But also make sure you subscribe to the Zod and Drea podcast. Where? At ZodandDrea.com. And also on YouTube and iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. We're coming for you. Let us know what you think. And if you want to be a guest, reach out to us and put all of your input into whatever our topics are for the week. So we hope to check you out and see you there. Bye.